Hussain and welcome to project 19 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating a color toggler by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you click on this ball right here, so here you can see the background color will be totally black and also this ball will be also black and if you click on it one more time, so this ball will become white and also this background will be also become white. So this is what we are going to be building in this video by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time now, let's jump right into our coder and write your code. Alrighty, so into our 19 project so i'll just give a name of o19 color toggler all right so inside that i'm gonna just write create three files index.html and then style.css and then what the heck am i gonna say <laughs> f.js be normal jose and be normal all right so zoom in a bit so so starting from the html the first thing which you have to do is to change the title to like color toggler then I'll link it with my CSS file. And then I want to also just write a script. And there we go. Then I'll right click on it, open it with the live server right here. And then just toggle that upper bar. The first thing that you have to do for HTML is to just write an input with the type of checkbox. Okay. And then we have to just put an ID of switch to it. And then the next thing is label of four. So I'm going to just write switch to it. And the level will be nothing and save our file and there we go so we just got this checkbox right here so now let's go to our styling and let's make it a bit cool all right so now i'm inside my style.css so i'll just uh, make it left and right so i guess that would be fine the first thing i would do is i will just declare a few variables in css root then we have a primary color and then i'll just give it um a value of white and then we have a primary label uh, of black and then we have a secondary label of white and then we have a white ball and it will be white then we have a black ball and it will be black okay so then now let's jump right into our body and now let's start the styling all right so the background color will be war their primary color so what was the primary color the primary color was white okay so body will be white so then we have to just provide a position to it absolute and then we have to provide up top to 50 percent and left will be also 50 percent and then transform translate will be just minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent our file and now here you can see our button is now at the center of the page all right, so the next thing which you have to do is to just style our switch right here. So I'll just select this uh, switch and then the width will be zero and the height will be also zero and visibility will be hidden. Save our file and everything is gone from our page right here. Okay, so now let's style our label, which is this label right here. So I'll just select this label right now and then display will be totally block and width will be 100 pixel and height will be 50 pixel and background color will be war uh, primary label okay and then we have a border radius of 100 pixel and then position will be relative and then we have a cursor to be pointer and transition will be with 0.5 seconds save it and now here you can see we have this rounded um, container right here okay so this is just about a label so inside this label we have to just provide our after effect to it so label then we have to just write or after it effect and then we have to just provide a content of nothing content will be empty and then width will be 40 pixel height will be also 40 pixel border radius will be just 70 pixel and then we have to just write a background color of war um we have our white ball okay so here's our white ball color right here so here you can see it's tall white so the next thing that you have to do is we have to position it absolute and then we have a top five pixel and the left five pixel in the transition of 0 0.5 seconds save it and here you can see we have our ball right here so if you click on that nothing's going to happen right now because we don't have anything any javascript whatsoever right now so that's when that's going to happen now let's select our switch and if that's checked like if this um input box is checked so and we also want to get a label of after so you want to provide this uh, styling so the background color will be let me just provide a background color like background color will be just a war 
of black ball okay and then we have a left so we are going to be using a calc function in it so a calc function allows us to do a calculation of the values so 100 percent and minus five pixels okay so then with the last thing that you have to do is to just provide a transform translate of x and minus 100 percent okay and once we save it and there's our ball right there if that's checked so here you can see it will just move to the left and it will be disappear now the final thing which we have to do for our css is to just select our label and then just provide an active class to it of after if that's active so you want the width to just take the 60 pixels save it if you click on this white ball so here you can see it will now just push to the right and it will take its space right there okay so that was it about a css and html so now let's jump right into our javascript and do our magic so the first thing which you have to do is to just grab our button so i'll just write let toggler it will be now equals to document dot get element i id and then we have our switch right here and then we have to just add event listener to that so i'll just write like toggler dot add event listener of click so if you click on that so you want to fire this function right here so the first thing i'll do is i'll just log to the console like toggler dot uh, checked so save or file c h e c k e d checked and now let's open our console really quickly so if i click on that here you can see it is now telling us that this is true and it is now checked so if i click on that so now it become false right here so if i click it one more time true and false true and false okay so now let's just write our condition right here so if toggler button dot checked so if the button is checked so um let me just write a true right here if this is true so then we have to just write like document dot body dot style dot background color back round color of just a black right here and then let me just write else block and then duplicate this line of code and if that's not true so you want the background color to be white save our file and then click on it so it's disappearing it did change the background color but now our cursor is kind of disappearing so i guess we must have something in our css file so now let's jump right into a css one more time so let's check it hey sir thing is looking cool all right so okay so i just forgot a little bit of styling in here so now let me select our switch right here if this switch is checked plus you want to get just a label in this case we provide after effect so in this case we selected this after start but in this case we are not selecting that after start but we are just selecting our label right here and then we have to just provide like a background color of war secondary uh not secondary yeah secondary uh label so yeah isn't that true secondary labels let me just copy the name of it and paste it right here to save it all right so now it's looking cool so if i just click on here so here you can see the background color will be white if i just uh, change it to false so here you can see the background color will be black okay so that was it about this project and we can also refactor this project by using a ternary operator so i'm going to come this line of code right now and then i want to just use like toggler this button and then i want to just check if this is true like check and if this is true so then we want to just write like uh, document dot body dot um background color dot style dot background uh color and it will be now equals to black if it's not duplicated and it just change it to that and it will be now white save our file and now if you click on that so here you can see it will work the same right here okay so this is just a little bit of cleaner and simpler uh, way to write this code and this is the older way to write this code and you can choose whichever you like but i just kind of want to show you like we can refactor this code a little bit more okay so if you click on that and this is the black start and this is the white start all right so that was it about this project so if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one but if you guys already know uh git and github and you want to push your code into your github repository then that's what i'm going to do right now so now if i want to push my code into my github repository so for that i'm going to just use like get status so we have the 019 get add everything then get commit dash m and then i'll just write like uh, i don't know color toggler and then i'll just write get push to origin man okay 
push to origin main okay hit enter and it will now push it to our origin main so if we refresh our browser and let's see yep here you go we have 019 and color toggler so if we uh, click on this index.html file so here is our html code and here is our javascript code and here is our css code okay so i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye